Well, as the saying goes, timing is everything. And um, thanks to Tin Man and uh, Patrick and John's picture that Patrick took of the where the timing was on this uh, zero force motor, I was able to get my little motor to run much, much, much better at a much, much better um, amp draw. I'm down in the low milliamps now, which is where I wanted to be with this. You could get it to go into microamps. If you adjust the reed switch so that this gallops, where it's just blinking part of the time, firing part of the time, it goes into a really, really low amp draw. And I learned this from uh, Laser Saber's uh, Easy Spin project, that when you get these things to go into like a gallop, part of the time here, this is not firing. It's just coasting. And that slows the amp draw way down and uh, gives you some real interesting readings on your meter because part of this is generating. And uh, this is a, a generator. In fact, I was fiddling around with it today as a generator with just a capacitor regular capacitor just spinning it up and the LED would come on. So uh, the, the configuration here is, is as a generator and a motor. And like I say, if you get this to go into like a galloping mode, this has some very interesting um, multimeter readings that are very interesting to look at. And they bounce around depending on the uh, sampling that the multimeter is uh, seeing. So anyway, this is, a, like I say, this is a success now with this uh, Easy Spin. It's what they are, not Easy Spin. It's the uh, Zero Force motor that uh, I reconfigured the lead switch over here instead of down here. And what it means is that the, uh, the magnets fire on the corner of the, of the coils now. And so it's push-pull, which is exactly what John said this was. It was a push-pull motor. I'm not quite sure where he comes up with the zero force because it's got force in it, but it does work pretty cool. And um, and uh, thanks for a Tin Man for building up his and experimenting with it and proving how you can move the reed switch to a different location from here to here and get a much better performance motor. Um, it's still not great, at least at this point. We're thinking now this should be a ferrite and curved ferrite and I think uh, Tin Man's going to be working on that but uh, anyway that's my little uh, experiment for tonight I had it uh, uh, charged up with uh, a couple of AA batteries this is what it sounds like here the gallop and I learned that from uh, Laser Saber's Easy Spins that when you get that because my rotor is not perfect and it wobbles so do his. You can put these into this galloping kind of mode. It's like a hit and miss motor, internal combustion engine. And they do this really weird um, firing and generating, firing and generating kind of deal. And it, it shows up as a real low amp draw. If I push this down, this goes into full, full blown firing all the time, but then again your total amp draw goes up, your RPM goes up, your torque goes up, all of the good things. But if you're looking for long run time, if you put this into that galloping mode, you get a real long run time on a capacitor or a battery. Anyway, that's the news for tonight. I had a lot of fun with this, uh, and thanks for everybody uh, this work on this project. It is a lot of fun to play around with. Thanks.